welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Joe Beretta. It's time once again for a good old fashioned movie roundup. Yeah! First up, we've got an official announcement from Sony that a Metal Gear Solid movie is actually finally happening. This is big news for MGS fans. The Konami video game series is hugely popular, and Metal Gear Solid 4 was one of the most epic games ever, and I loved it very much. So yeah, this is awesome news. The elusive Hideo Kojima, creator of the Metal Gear series, confirmed the movie is in the works during a Metal Gear anniversary event in Tokyo. Also, banners on display at the event said Metal Gear Solid Hollywood movie with the Columbia Pictures logo in the corner. Hmm, all of this sounds pretty solid to me, Steve. Yeah. Solid as metal. And gears. Ha! <laughs> I'm awesome. The only other name attached to the project other than Kojima, who will be an executive producer as of now, is Spider-Man reboot producer Avi Arad, who spoke to the audience at the anniversary event saying that he struggled for years to bring comics to the silver screen and that, quote, video games are the comic books of today. Video game site Kotaku also got a fancy quote out of Arad saying, we'll take our time and tell the story with all the nuances, ideology, and cautionary tales needed. The super short history of Metal Gear series is as follows. The first Metal Gear game appeared in 1987 on an obscure gaming system no one remembers called MSX2, which was then heavily altered into a port that came out on the NES in 1988. And then 10 years later, Metal Gear Solid came out in 1998 on the OG PlayStation 1 console. And since then, the franchise has sold more than 20 million units. The series follows Solid Snake, a retired badass super soldier getting all sorts of crazy epic adventures involving nuclear weapons, terrorists, and all sorts of espionage awesomeness. If done right, this movie could be epic amazing. I'm stoked, but will remain carefully skeptical until more info and the usual droves of trailers and reviews come out. Next up, a personal favorite actor of Joe and I landed a pretty big role in a kind of big but totally unnecessary movie coming out in 2013. Yes sir, the always awesome Michael Keaton, who I put in my list of Hollywood forgottens. Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, and Kurt Russell. Ugh. Kurt Russell kind of made a small comeback there, and Michael Keaton kind of made a small comeback. Man, know, Val but... Kilmer just gone. He's just gone, He's just crazy. Gone. I don't like it. He's like it. bloated and gone. I love Val <laughs> Kilmer, it sucks. Real Genius is an amazing movie. I know! Uh, anyways, the always awesome Michael Keaton landed the role of the main villain in the Jose Padilla directed Robocop remake. At this point, I don't really care if the movie's going to suck or not, which it will, but to see Keaton back on the big screen playing a villain is all sorts of awesome and cool and, and just good stuff. The movie won't be good, but <laughs> Michael Keaton's involvement will be good. It's hard to imagine a Robocop remake could be good in any possible way, but I'm mostly in because I want to see Keaton, arguably the best Batman, kicking ass again. So that's it for this movie roundup, but before we go, I want to inject a bit of interesting TV news that I think deserves a bit of a mention. A lot of us here at SourceFed are big Doctor Who fans, and the current Doctor, Matt Smith, dropped an interesting hint about the upcoming 50th anniversary of the show. Apparently Smith hinted at a possible live event for the biggest year in the show's history. He was recently quoted as saying, the special won't just be a televised event, I think it will be a live event. The way it's transmitted on TV will hopefully be an inventive thing, something different. Mmm, pretty vague, Matt Smith, but still interesting and potentially amazing if true. A live Doctor Who episode would be a madhouse. I have no idea how it could possibly be done, maybe with just practical effects and no CGI stuff, I don't know. But if it happens, it could go down in history as one of the biggest TV events ever for, for Doctor Who fans. For Doctor Who fans, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So does any of this TV or movie news get you excited? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and click this annotation to go to sourcefed.com and see everything we've ever done in the five stories of the day. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Joe Beretta. Later.